Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Las Vegas Casino podcast video. In this case, here's another new review involving another new show that I've seen there in Las Vegas, also having to do with a show located at Planet Hollywood. So I just did that video, for example, on Crazy Girls, located there in Planet Hollywood, and this one is another one that's also there. But in this case, it has to do with a show involving hypnosis. Now, I've kind of seen a show somewhat dedicated to hypnosis before, only teasing of it, called The Mentalist. Uh, that was in one of my other reviews a little while back. This one though has to do with a show called Mark Savard and he has a hypnosis show that's located there in Pawnee Hollywood later in the evening in this case a 10 o'clock show is probably the la the latest show I've ever seen with regards to any shows there in Vegas I normally try not to go to the really late shows only because when you get out I mean uh, it's pretty pretty late and that's when I guess all the people that come out all the drunks, all the uh, people that make messes and scenes and so forth, those are the ones that tend to come out really late at night, so I try to stay away from all that. But in this case, I just had to experience it and see it and see what it was like. So otherwise, let's go ahead and let's start this review here for Mark Savard Comedy Hypnosis. For starters, I went in with expectations that were a little bit lower than usual, only because I'm a natural skeptic when it comes to this stuff um, I, because I think I don't know how much of it is being played by the audience how much of it is being played by the host I mean it's so easy to say that you're under hypnosis when in actuality you could just be faking it in other words but after I left the show I came out being a much more stronger believer than when I first came in and this is why at the very beginning you're sat down. It's a smaller uh, theater. It's a, it's a more intimate theater. It's the same theater, in fact, that they had um, uh, that show that I went to involving V for Vegas, which was like that mixture show uh, showcasing a lot of different uh, acts all at once. And it's also the same show that involves the... Uh, the one involving the cats and dogs, that very, very nice show that I went to before as well. But in this case, uh, the same theater, late at night, same show, but, I'm sorry, the same uh, location, but in this case, this show is a lot more, I guess, conservative. Like, all it is, it's him and one other person, in this case, a beautiful co-hostess, and with Mark, he comes out. And then he starts telling, essentially, what's going to happen with the show. He shows uh, some, some scenarios involving hypnosis, how it occurs, how people can get hypnotized, what can happen afterward. He explains it so that way if you're a novice to the situation, then you, he's not going to go over your head involving that stuff. Um, he explains it in detail so by the time he's finished, you have a more thorough understanding involving hypnosis. That kind of piqued my interest right away because I thought that under hypnosis people were just out. Like people were just 100% out. But he said, no, it's more on the lines of they are there but they're not so it's not like they're going to be a hundred percent just under hypnosis no they'll be susceptible to laughter like they'll they'll be cognizant of other things but at the same time they're still hypnotized then at that point he stated that he's going to start going ahead and do a little trick he had us clap our hands together uh, start rubbing them together, create heat, create friction, and then that way when he told us to pull them apart, he let us know that if those of us feel like there's a much stronger magnetic pull between our hands than others to please step forward. I didn't really feel too much of a pull, not like I was going to go up there anyways, but um, others did and they went up there and that's how he began selecting who was going to be in the show for the remainder of the show itself and, and I think about maybe 20 or 25 people initially went up that's when he went through some more tests if you could call them to see who is truly able to be under hypnosis and who is not he went through some routines telling them um, that like hold out their hands uh, he went down through a countdown of some kind he was telling them that on one hand their balloon is tied to their hand and it's getting lighter on another hand there's a weight that's getting heavier um, all involving hypnotic type music playing in the background all with their eyes closed he's just telling them directions and this is where the people that are truly hypnotized after about five minutes of this stuff 
then become hypnotized while those that can't get hypnotized uh, will later just be taken off the stage. He said that hypnotism has nothing to do with intelligence either. So if you're thinking it's only the dumb people that get hypnotized, no. He said that it all has to do with some kind of unconscious state of mind where some people are more perceptible to it than others, but it has absolutely nothing to do with how smart or how unsmart you are. In either case, after those five minutes um, and, and the people were finally selected, that's when things truly kicked into gear because at that point, he started make, he started going into more of a comedy routine. There's a reason why it's called comedy hypnosis, and that's because he had people play out these crazy scenarios all under hypnosis. Nothing like truly perverted, nothing where they're risking their lives type stuff. No, in this case, he was telling them more along the lines of, look, there's a snake, there's a snake, and they would react to it. Like they would go bonkers, no, and not realizing that there's nothing there. In another scenario, he was passing out a joint, a quote-unquote made-up joint, and all of them were fawning for it, you know, wanting to get a piece of it, but he was not letting them, and they were acting childlike, they were acting childish regarding to that, uh, because they were still under hypnosis. It seems like when you're put under hypnosis, you revert to a more younger state of mind like uh, almost like a three-year-old a four-year-old where it's it's like temper tantrums type stuff because certain parts of the show some of them would react in that manner like they would be saying you know I want my stuff and they would get disappointed the funniest stuff though was this one guy who uh, he put under hypnosis every time he shook his hand it would feel like his balls would get on fire like it would start itching so much it would be uncontrollable and he could do nothing towards stopping it and so it was hilarious because he would purposely of course shake his hand and then this guy would, would start scratching his genitals like his shorts as much as he could <laughs> he would be getting on his knees I I'm laughing now just thinking about it because he was not acting like it truly seemed like he was absolutely just uncontrollably uh, itching down there and it was it was hilarious because he was still holding his hand but there was nothing he could do with regards to that another one that that he hypnotized he would have the lady every time he shook her hand make it seem like the guy next to her touched her ass the way he stated it so every time I hold your hand then you're supposed to look at the guy next to you and with an insulted look like did you just touch my ass that kind of stuff and every time he did that sure enough like she was poking at this guy almost slapping him state you know stating why did you touch my ass and of course not realizing of course that that this never happened but because she was under hypnosis and made it seem like that was the case but yes there were some just that's just a little brief hint of the hilarious stuff that ensued for the remainder of the show that doesn't even highlight when he started bringing out real props like in this case um uh, there was like a seat belt. I'm sorry, a regular belt that was involved. There was uh, what was it? A doll that was involved too, where he would ask them to to dance to the doll. Uh, what the doll was doing. There was one guy who I guess became the main star of the show, where he was told every time certain music played, he had to get up and dance, like dance the macarena or whatever, the mariachi, whatever type of dance it was. And intermittently throughout the show, every time the music started, he would he would start dancing just on his own. You know, he couldn't stop because of it, so it was pretty hilarious. But yes, it was an absolute blast. I had complete fun. Again, my expectations were pretty low when I went in, but when I left, it was amazing, too. I even bought one of their little trinkets that was there. It was a $40 USB drive, but in it, he contains like 10 CDs worth of stuff involving more hypnosis, involving, I guess, uh, ways to do things. It, it was just fascinating. I love buying those little trinkets at the shows because it's in my own little memento every time I leave these places. And because I made a little bit of money from slot machines uh, earlier in the day, it was free for me. So I didn't have to spend any money extra for that little trinket. And they gave me two extra free tickets going forward because I bought that USB drive, one of the more pricier items. So I'm definitely going back. That's the beauty of the show too. Every night is different because every set of audiences is going to be different every night. So every time he has a new audience there that night up on the stage, you're going to get different results. And so I love that notion. That's why, like on comedy clubs, I love going because it's always a whole new set of hosts and a whole new set of audiences to pick on. Same concept here. So anyways, Mark Savard, Comedy Hypnosis, highly recommended. 
check it out. They do have Groupons as well for this show. Uh, a lot of the Planet Hollywood shows seems to have that, in fact, which is a great deal. I mean, I love going to these shows, having them be so entertaining, having them be at a great price. Like, why on earth would I pay ridiculous $200 price for some Cirque Soleil show when I can see a show for $30 instead for VIP tickets? And it's the same great experience um, so that's uh, why others do it I don't know but in this case that's what I love doing on my end but yes Marks of Art Comedy Hypnosis highly recommended go check it out when you have a chance and you're in Vegas you will not regret it so alright everybody thanks again as always take care